Now we want to reach out to one of the witnesses of the aftermath of this manhunt. She has been affected by what's been going on right now. Beth Harkins is on the phone. Can you hear us, Beth? Uh, yes, I can. Beth, can you tell us what you heard and what you're seeing out there, and where are you? Well, I am about a mile, I would say, uh, east or, uh, well, the southwest, actually, of where the shooting occurred. And we have been hearing throughout the evening uh, multiple helicopters overhead. Uh, we've been uh, given warnings through our, our local neighborhood network communities to stay inside and lock our doors. And um, everyone is complying with, with those requests. And we've also heard a lot of um, some explosions earlier um, in the evening. Uh, I'd say about an hour and a half, two hours ago now, and uh, maybe some gunshots. We're not sure if they were gunshots or if they were explosions at one point and sirens. And so uh, we're just watching a lot of helicopters hovering over our heads and hoping that uh, Raleigh police can find this guy. Well, Beth, um, you're not at your house, but I imagine some of your neighbors are. What did they tell you about what they witnessed? Um, they have only, I've only communicated with people online. I haven't seen anyone, but um, most people are, are telling the same stories of uh, lots of helicopters, some explosions and gunshots, and also um, people wondering if what they're hearing are, are uh, police dogs. Uh, searching the neighborhoods. They're here, we're hearing some uh, dog barking, which is unusual for our neighborhood. So we're wondering if that's what that is as well. How concerned are you right now, Beth? Um, I'm not as concerned as I was earlier. It seems that the helicopters have moved a little bit away from our area now. Um, we were very concerned for a while. I have a, a teenage son, and we um, moved to the interior of the home and got away from the windows for a while. Uh, with our um, with our games and our phones and just kind of uh, waited it out, but it seems a little bit quieter now. So um, I'm just hoping that I'm confident that the police are going to find this guy eventually, but it seems to be a little quieter around here now. Uh, all right, Beth, thank you so much. Uh, that's Beth Harkins, who lives right outside of the area where this shooting mm -hmm. actually occurred um, on Teekman Place. Um, again, Beth saying she's unable to get back to her house, but she did hear explosions and that they did hear gunshots in the area at the time that this police officer was shot. She says the helicopters that she heard earlier are now moving away. Mm -hmm. She's not too concerned about what's going on right now.